One day, God wakes up in heaven, floats over to the window, looks down at the earth and thinks, boy, what a shit show. For a few seconds, he considers drowning the earth again, but it's Pride Month, so he's reminded of the promise he made to Noah. Since he can't drown the earth again, he decides that he'll just turn all of the humans into animals instead. And the best part is he's going to use the MBTI system to find out what animal everyone's going to become. So if you want to find out what animal you're going to spend the rest of your life as, keep watching. I ISFPs are elephants. Elephants are quite social. They like to live in groups, but they tend to be small groups. Elephants are also quite calm and chill, just like ISFPs. But if you get on their bad side, they can be quite forceful too. Also, elephants are great artists. INTPs are cats. Cats are really smart and independent, but also incredibly lazy, just like INTPs. Cats want you to think that they hate everyone and everything, but deep down, secretly, they love you. Don't get it twisted. Cats still hate your guts, but it's more of a love-hate kind of thing. ESTPs are hyenas. They love to hunt in groups, and they're really overconfident, to a point of where they think they can take on a lion. They don't tend to think ahead too far, and can often run into unintended walls. It's just a good thing they're laughing hyenas. ESFPs are peacocks. And I can't think of a better match for the ESFPs. Peacocks love to be the center of attention. And with all of their feathers, they look really fly. They're beautiful, elegant, but they also know when to cover up too. Sometimes it's great to be the center of attention, but sometimes it's better to just fly under the radar. ENTPs are dolphins. Just like ENTPs, dolphins are really smart, clever, and they care about other people. But they also know that you really can't help the stupid. That's why when the Earth was about to be destroyed, and after humans ignored all of their warnings, dolphins just decided to fly away in a spaceship and say thanks for all the fish. ESTJs are sharks. Just look at their hair. That's obviously a fin. But for the most part, ESTJs don't go out of their way to hurt people. Just like sharks. Just stay out of your way and do your job and you'll be fine. ENTJs are lions. They're the king of the jungle and they know it. It doesn't matter that lions don't live in the jungle, they're still king of it. There's a reason C.S. Lewis picked a lion to be furry Jesus. Just saying. If you're liking this video, how about you boop that like button? ESFJs are dogs. What can I say? They love people. And they want to do everything they can to help out. Even if that means making sacrifices or helping when they're not wanted. And they don't do it for selfish reasons. All they want is a belly rub. Just remember to always thank your ESFJ friends with a good belly rub. ENFJs are horses. Horses are loyal, curious, and happy to help. Just like ENFJs, every fantasy protagonist needs a trusty steed. And now, ENFJs are the trusty steed. ISTJs are ants. Ants are hard workers. They stay in line and don't ask questions. And because of this, they get stuff done. Sure, their architectural tastes are a bit on the bland side, but hey, it's efficient. ISFJs are beavers. Beavers are great maintainers. They build and maintain huge beaver dams and little lakes. But beavers don't just build these for themselves. They let all kinds of animals live in their little lakes with them. INTJs are owl. Owls constantly ask questions, and they're super antisocial, only coming out at night. INFJs are chameleons. They're slow to act, but they're able to change their color to match any situation they're in. Their colors can help them stand out or blend in. INFPs are butterflies. Just like INFPs, butterflies are constantly trying to avoid the nets of the world. They see the beauty in everyone. And they all start out as ugly caterpillars, hide in a cocoon for a very long time, but eventually mature and show their beauty with the world. ISTPs are spiders. Spiders spend a lot of time in solitude, building their webs. Others might laugh at them, wasting all of their time building stupid arts and crafts. But spiders know that their stupid arts and crafts will make them a lot of money someday. ENFPs are hummingbirds. Hummingbirds are very unique. They're the only bird that can fly backwards. And they need that because they can quickly find themselves in situations that they want to get out of fast. Because of their dominant NE, hummingbirds need constant sustenance. So they're always looking for colorful feeders. If you need more sustenance, 
Watch my video covering all eight cognitive functions. Or join my Patreon to watch my next two videos right now for just a few bucks. Thanks so much for watching. Special thanks to my patrons, especially Barons. I've been Tribal Knight, and I'll catch you guys all next time.